Amazing. Okay, so this is Michael so, Hatch. He's a glass blower here at the Energy Exchange. Go on, Michael, you're telling me about this event that's going to happen tonight. There's a, a big glass collector's uh, celebration going on this whole weekend, and the opening of it all is going to be tonight. We're having a big pink picking and glass blowing demos and kind of performance art glass demos this evening. And um, so. And we're here at the Energy Exchange, where all of our studios, all our furnaces are run off of methane from the old landfill. It's the first glass studio in the world to use landfill gas to fuel it. Uh, we get, two, we have two residents, and we get a three-year residency that we apply for. And, uh, and I heard that. Um this is not the type of residency where you come, you're here free, and you use the space. You pay for being here, and so I'd like to know what's the exchange for you as an artist. Do you pay, what do you receive, and what do you pay? Well, we pay our rent, and we pay our electricity. Uh -huh. What we get for free is the gas, and some maintenance, we're supposed to do the maintenance, but they'll pay for the materials that we need to keep everything running. Uh -huh. um, one of the big advantages is running a glass studio costs about $1,500 a month. And so free gas is a big plus. Oh, so $1,500 only in gas? Just for the gas. Oh. And so that's with nothing else. And so using the, the landfill gas is a, a great advantage for us as artists. It gives us a chance to kind of build our business, or in my situation, I'm transitioning between two different studios. I had a studio gallery in downtown Asheville for about 10 years. Okay. And, uh, whatever, so I'm moving to a new place. And then so this are you moving up into this area? Here no, in the I'm gonna be in, uh, in Weaverville, right outside of Asheville. Oh, okay. And, uh, so this is giving me a chance to keep making work and pick up new galleries and kind of transition the business between mm -hmm. two different studios. Right. And kind of riding out the economic down. Oh, I see. I see. So actually, having a gallery space here in the in the Energy Exchange Gallery, as well as your own place, um, comes out cheaper than you're having your gallery in downtown Asheville. Is that right? Yes. Uh huh. And also, you'd need to have a studio there where here that you had things. a studio. It was a studio gallery. Oh, ah, okay. And okay. so I have all, most of all the equipment, and so I'll, you know. Uh huh. My landlord got greedy, the building was falling apart, oh, the economy was going south, all of that all at once, and uh, I just didn't renew my lease after 10 years. So, so um, how does the slope in the economy affect you in what you're doing right now? Can you... Things you know, for, for me, things seem to be picking back up. Um, I don't make anything that anybody needs. <laughs> that's so an interesting gun. That's kind of a good sign that the economy is probably truly because it's absolutely. all overpriced, discretionary, you know, just extra stuff. That okay. I, so if people are buying that, then they're at least That's because they have a little confident. bit of extra money. Yeah, or they're feeling a little bit more confident about everything. Well, can I ask you a price for just for an example? I'll tell you something. In most of Spain, it's a pretty unknown thing. To uh, spend, to have extra money and spend extra money on something like this, a few people do it uh, in pretty isolated places, and it's not a common thing. Would you just give me an example of a price on something of yours? You say it's. I, have, I, have, I generally have things from about twenty dollars to several thousand dollars. And so I do a lot of craft shows, I do different galleries, I have different levels of galleries. Some mm -hmm. will sell lower end little vases and bowls. I'm getting ready to do a show this weekend, so most of my production work right now is, is packed up. It's out, uh-huh. And so, um, and so what, what we're looking at here is, is a lot, anything on those shelves, I'm looking for something that might be new. The, the only new piece would be that waterfall. Everything up in there is, Anywhere from five to twenty years old. Oh, really? So oh. The snowman and the guy on the kayak. Wow. Uh, everything else is kind of older work. Okay. So a little bit of new work over here. These pieces are new. Oh, these, these are similar to the ones I saw in the gallery. I and didn't then look these at these sculpture pieces over here with the birds and the boxes. Uh, uh -huh. Those are all new kind of sculptural work that I'm working uh -huh. on. And so I kind of run the gamut. 
And that's what I find a little bit from everywhere. Uh huh. And um, you know. Okay. Well, you know what? Thank you. I'm going to turn this off, and I'm just going to talk to you then. Thank okay. you very much.